I'm, I'm just living in regret now for the fact like it was mostly my fault for causing the scenario and situation because things were well, actually getting better. But... In fact... mm. I do feel like it was mostly my fault for causing the scenario and situation because things were well, actually getting better. But... In fairness to you, you know, you you are taking accountability. You know, you're not fighting. You're not fighting me on any of these points. So you know, props to you for that. And I can hear the regret in your voice. By the way, I can hear it. Um, Yusuf, regret is an emotion that is produced by the thinking we have. Remember, our, our thoughts, our thoughts underpin our emotions. The pillar for our emotions is our thinking. Thoughts produce emotions. Thoughts fuel emotions. How you think is going to generate how you're going to feel. And the intensity of the thinking is going to produce the intensity of the emotion, i.e. that's the difference between uh, thinking that produces depression or thinking de-escalated thinking that produces sadness, which is a healthy negative emotion. The difference in thinking that generates anxiety versus de-escalated thinking that produces concern. Concern is a healthy negative emotion. Concern is what you want when you cross the street, when you're driving. You want to have concern. You don't want to be anxious. Anxious is, anxiety is unhealthy negative emotion. You want the emotional goal. When an event happens, you always want to ask yourself, how do I want to feel? Asking yourself how you want to feel sets the destination, the emotional goal. Because attached to that is going to obviously be the behaviors that accompany that. But you set the emotional goal. And once you set the emotional goal, for example, the goal is concern because I don't like how I feel right now being anxious because of what has transpired. Once you set the emotional goal, you then create the narratives, the meaning, that self-talk that's going to get you from point A to point B. A is the adversity, the events. B is the beliefs, what you tell yourself, the narrative. How do you get from here to there? The pathway is that narrative, what you tell yourself. And that's going to get you to that emotional goal. So an event happens, we create narratives, we create meanings. And that becomes the pathway to the destination of the emotion. Hence, when an event happens, you ask yourself, how do you want to feel? I want to feel concerned. So then you ask yourself, what do I need to tell myself in order to get to concern? And obviously, that needs to be opposite of what you told yourself to get to anxiety. Those are two different streets. Those two different narratives. Those are two different paths that are going to lead to two different emotions. That's why it's important for you to have in your support system, a coach or a counselor that's going to help you, that's going to teach you a model so that you can do that in the moment so that you produce a healthy negative emotion, a healthy response emotionally to an adversity that happens. So you feeling regret right now, right? You, whatever you're feeling right now is underpinned by some distorted thinking. We need to change the thinking. Remember, emotions are always valid, but the thinking that underpins them may or may not be accurate. And your thinking after listening to you to this point, it's clear that your thinking is distorted. It's not accurate. Hence, the emotions that you have are valid, but they're based off inaccurate thinking. Limited thinking, hence the emotion is going to be limited. Dysfunctional thinking produces dysfunctional emotions. Mm -hmm.